very good evening to you. To good and wonderful people to tube. Hope you today. Hope you're grand and in your world. We are on a high walk to hell road trip. So yes, um, at this point in time we are on our way an hour and a half away from my home. I have Queenie on the camera. Say hello Queenie. Hello. And uh, we are off to pick up a high watt amp. I've been after one of these things for ages. And every time I come we're either like a million miles away or somebody's got the wrong idea of how ex how expensive they should be. Uh, the last one I saw somebody wanted like 400 quid for it, which you know, I think is what they were brand new when they came out. Anyway, what is the amp? Everyone's crying. Dave, why is the blooming amp to say? It's a high watt max watt 200, uh, which means it's a 200 watt solid state high watt head. I used to actually have the 100 watt combo and that was amazing and I sold it and never should have done that. Stupid Dave. But, um, so I've been after the, the head ever since and we're on our way to get one. So, um, awesome. We're actually going through the little town of Horncastle in about five, ten minutes. And that is where the YouTube channel started, about old hat guitars. Uh, didn't end very well, let's put it that way. Anyway. <laughs> Onwards, we're going to Whiz Beach. So, uh, yeah, we've got a bit of, we're in West Ashby. We've got a bit of a journey to go. Okay, so there's the Horncastle Tree of Light. Left is where I used to work, that's old hat. One thing I did want to say is, uh, even though I'm filming this at the end of December, when this video goes out, it'll be March. In June or July, I forget exactly which month it is, of this year, I have been doing YouTube for 10 years. I've been doing it for a decade. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something, can't I, do for my, my 10 year, like, thing me bobbing. I don't know what to do, though. Um, maybe look back at my old video, but I can't really do that because it's full of copyright material. Oh, the joys! Um, I don't know. People with a tube, answers on a postcard or in a comment section below, whichever one you prefer. What should I do? It's, it's been 10 years since I started this channel, and I never expected to get this far. <laughs> it's amazing where it is, and it's all thanks to you lot. Um, something I did is you all um, who support me. Uh, I don't know what 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 can I do for ten the ten year anniversary of this channel? Crazy, you know, ten years. Raven. Anyway, onwards. I'm sure, we'll get some more footage on the way. Okay, people, we have the high watt amp. It is sat in the back. It's absolutely massive. It weighs a ton. But again, what do you expect for a two hundred watt high watt? So yeah, high watt. You know. High, high wattage. Yeah, right, Dave, shut up. Anyway, um, we have just stopped at the services for Queenie, and uh, then we'll be back on the road again. So I don't think I'll film anything from this point onwards. So what I'm going to do, people tube, is um, when I get back home, uh, I'm going to basically talk through my process of when, when I get an amp I've never played through before, because I've played through the combo version of this, not the, not the head, and it will be different. Um, I'm going to talk through my process of what I do when I get a new amp to see what you know how it how it feels, what what goes on. So I'm going to um, have a jibber jabber about that. So um, yeah, see you shortly with the uh, old high watt. <laughs> okay, Queenie's laughing her head off at me, and it's not fair. I made a simple Freudian <laughs> slip. By walking up to a load of ducks and calling them cows. Yeah, we were walking out and there was a load of ducks and Dave just goes, Hello cows, by mistake. So that's what they are now. Mm. I've actually, I've just had to message Dave's sister just to tell her. There you go. Disgusting. Okay, people of tube, we are back in the room with the High Watt Max Watt 200. Well, it's the, it's the Maxwatt G200R HD. Um, so I'm not going to give any details on the amp. I might as well save that to, for the actual demo of this thing. Uh, haven't turned it on yet. It's literally just plugged in, ready to go. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about how... Th this is my process, if you will. There isn't really a process. I'll just turn it on and turn dials until it sounds right. But um, how well this is going to sound, I don't know. Because this being 200 watts, I can imagine it's... Uh, Rather loud. What do you say, Queen? I would say so. Yes. So, the guitar I always go for is, you know, obvious, really. Anyway, power on. The fan works. It, it made a pop, so that's good. So, 
I'm going to start on the clean channel, then we'll go to the distortion channel. I don't really know what to expect. Uh, and basically what I'll do is turn the volume all the way up. I've got a master volume on this amp. Uh, and I've also got a reverb. I'm going to put the reverb about 10 o'clock. And just turn volume all the way up. Make sure it makes noise, which it does. Whoa, it's loud. I basically just turn things. I all I never really turned the treble dial. I turned it on for a split se split second to make sure it worked, and then I turn it off, and that's it. I never really, you know, if you've been here long enough, you'll know I don't use treble. Clean. Very, I expected that. That's that's high watt. High watt are just clean. There's so much headroom in them, and that's the volume all the way up. I'm gonna have to turn the master down though. <laughs> reverb sounds good. Let's crank it. So test the reverb. It's a cool reverb. It's splishy. So I'm going to put that down to 11 o'clock. I'm going to turn the bass all the way off because you're a guitarist, you don't need that really. Here we go, we're starting to get somewhere now. So basically the only dial I'm using is the mid-range. That's his breakthrough volume as well. That's as quiet as his amp goes, which is alright actually. Considering it's 200 watt, that's a pretty good breakthrough volume. You'd expect you could expect it to be like absolutely blowing your brains out from the get go, which it definitely does once you get it past one. I'm on one at this point in time. So a clean channel sounds great. It's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, it's that. like a high watt. High watts don't sound like Marshalls, they don't sound like Fenders, they have this weird kind of like clickety clackety sound, I, I, that's the only way I can word it, that's the only way I word it. it, sounds like a train basically. Okay so I'm gonna go over to uh, the overdrive channel now, that was a normal channel, clean channel, uh, I'm not gonna run pedals into this yet either, I'm gonna save that for you know obviously the, the actual demo of this amp which will be at some point. Turn the volume all the way up again, uh, this one I'm going to put the mids at 9 o'clock to start with. No bass, no treble, mids at 9 o'clock. Uh, I've got a contour dial as well. And we've got a choice of two gains. So you've got game one and game two. And game two is just more than game one, basically, as you would expect. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do what I always do. Max out the game, because I'm a game monster. So let's see what happens. Nothing. I bet, does it need anything else or? It's there, but I wonder if it's... I bet it needs to be louder on the master, because I'm not really doing... Oh, there we go. Here it comes. I'm going to turn up the bass now. It's going to be loud. That is loud. Okay, I'll put the volume back down to one. Yeah, this is probably peaking the camera because, like I say, it doesn't really do quiet. What's how morbid curiosity? I'll balance the channels, not at all, as usual. Uh, I don't know why that is. It's the same with like the Marshall AVTs and so many amps that just like, they don't. They don't balance the volumes, and I don't really know why they do that. It's really weird. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. You can balance it with the volume. <laughs> Sounds mega. Let's turn the gain down, though. So this is gain at half. <laughs> Can I get her 
cranking the bell. Yeah. So there, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find a sweet spot for the bass because when it's up all the way, it's too flubby and it'll just get lost. If you're playing that live, the bass player's going to eat that frequency and it'll just sound naff. So just trying to find the sweet spot for the bass and what I tend to do is just palm mute like the low E string and just turn the bass up until it sounds right. So that's too thin. Bell there is about spot. On. Goes very clean. That's nice. It's like John Fashanti uh, Mother's Milk though. So that's really cool. Uh, game two. Sweepy. But we've got a contour dial so we can. So gain two has got a contour dial, so basically I'll leave that on ten. I think what I would do, and will probably do with this amplitude tube, is probably leave gain one. Probably around 11 o'clock. No, less than that. Probably about 9 o'clock. Yeah, I think I, I think what I'll do is I believe gain one about 9 o'clock has kind of like just a little bit more oomph. Than the clean. So that's the clean. Then you got gain one, and then gain two. But remember correctly, these amps clean up really nicely. clean channel needs to be for it to be unity with gain one. So I reckon it needs to be about there. No, it's about there. So the, so the volume on the clean channel needs to be about nine o'clock to be unity with the overdrive channel. And then we could probably turn that all. I mean the clean channel is so clean. There you got OD1, which is just kind of like break up. And then OD2, which is just over the top. I'd 
probably run the reverb. Probably put the reverb out there, so about 11 o'clock. <coughs> bit phlegmy, people too. Don't apologize. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's what I would do to when I first get, you know, get an amp is basically basically that. So the setting I've kind of ended up on is um, on the normal channel, clean channel. Uh, no bass, mids are at one o'clock, no treble. Uh, and volume is at nine o'clock. On the overdrive channel, I've got volume all the way up on 10. Bass is at 10 o'clock, mids are all the way up, no treble again. Uh, and then basically, uh, gain one is set at nine o'clock, gain two is set all the way up with the contour all the way up. And that's, that's me happy, you know. Do, uh, this amp does have an effect, so if it does have a line out and it's got all that kind of stuff. Um, I tell you what, I mean, you're a bit of a closer up of it, closer up of it, people tube. It's, it's it's all the way up there, and you're all the way down there. But um, let me turn it off quick. Um, I've been after one of these things for ages. I used to own the combo, the hundred watt combo, and that thing was loud. And again, like I said in the video earlier on, I sold it because I'm an idiot. Anyway, let me give you a bit more close up of this thing because it looks amazing. It's big. It's a really wide head. It's actually overlapping my um, my Marshall cab. As you can see, and uh, so here you go. So you got a headphone socket in the front, uh, master volume, reverb. Uh, this is your normal channel here, bass, middle, treble, volume. Uh, just your channel select button there. Uh, these amps actually came with a three-way foot switch, actually, where you could uh, channel select and also channel select gain one, two, and also turn reverb off and on. But this sadly doesn't have that, but that's okay. Uh, on the overdrive channel, you've got volume, bass, middle, treble, usual. And then you've got your gain switch there to alternate between gain one and two. And then you've got your contour dial that's linked in with gain two and your gain dial for gain one. Input there. And on the back, you've just got like, you know, your cab inputs. Uh, you've got an effects loop, um, inputs for pedals and whatnot, and the line out as well. I'm going to try the line out as well. I'm really curious. But again, this is a side state amp. This is not uh, a valve high watt. This is side state, and it sounds like a high watt. And I say I've been after one for ages, finally got one. It's very happy indeed. And how cool does that look? I mean, I mean, seriously, how cool is that? Anyway, I'm going to let you go, people with tube. Hope you enjoyed this little kind of like mini video for what it is. A uh, little high, high, high what to hell road trip. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this vid. I say there will be a full review of this thing coming at uh, some point soon. I'm just going to spend a bit of time with it, get used to it, put pedals into it, see what that goes and uh yeah i actually used one of these actually it was a supplied backline for a dukes deluda gig we we did where um i got there and there was this amp and it's matching cab and i absolutely adored it then so uh and that's not really different i i, st I love it so uh i found i finally got a high watt which i've been after for ages i think i've got the whole shebang now i think i'm missing a few but a lot of the companies that I want don't necessarily do that. Uh, un, uh, solid state. Unvalve, I was going to say. <laughs> it's, it's been a great day for my linguistic skills, to be honest with you. Anyway, I'm going to get off. Uh, if you like the videos I do here, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Links to that down there, as well as links to my Bandcamp, where you can listen to main music. Other than that, I'm going to play more on the high vot. And uh, I will see you again very soon. Goodbye now. Thank you for watching. Ooh. Max Watt. Who's Max Watt?